with haste. The Blade of Frontiers. Let's hope we... Deal some punishment. Today, you fool. be on my way.
No. Yes. I mean, I don't know. Th that's what the voice said. I almost got to the nest, but the singing. I need to get back. Mole will be so mad. <laughs> Wait, um, you should meet Mole. She'll be grateful you helped me. Find a boy called Donny. Tell him you want to see the dragon's lair. Tiring business, isn't it? All this traveling and adventuring. Why don't we take a little break, hmm? Allow ourselves a few moments of rest? Gives me a chance to talk to you about something. Well, rather important. We've been on the road together for a while now, haven't we? Hmm? Survived some perils, overcame some obstacles. Ever since you were kind enough to free me from that stone, I've seen you demonstrate remarkable guile and courage. The way you diffused the tension between Zevlor and Aradin. The way you got that boy out of a harpy's clutches. In short, I've grown to trust you. The reason I make a point of saying this is that I've grown confident enough to tell you something I've yet to tell another living soul, except for my cat. You see, I have this condition. Very different from the parasite we share, but just as deadly. Thank you for the offer, but the treatment for my condition is very specific. What it comes down to is this. Every so often, I need to get my hands on a powerful magical item and absorb the weave inside. I can say no more on the matter. Not now, anyway. Just trust me when I say it's all of vital importance. It's been days since I last consumed an artifact, and before we were abducted. It's only a matter of time before my craving returns. That is why I turn to you. I need you to help me find magic items to consume. It is vital. Dare I say it? Critical. You have my thanks. And fear not, your implicit trust is well placed and will be rewarded with any and all means at my disposal. I'm sure we won't have to look very far to find what I need. Faerun overflows with magic infused treasure. As do our packs, as a matter of fact. We have such an item already in our possession, primed for the moment the need arises. I hope I can count on you. Mm-hmm. 
Let's see what those harpies were hoarding. At least things have stayed interesting. Was a time I tussled with hill giants without breaking a sweat. Now, a mere werebear could swat me halfway to arm. Strange things are happening to us, but festers in our minds may well impel our bodies. in her room, through the carved door, deeper in the grove. I would prefer not to, but if Master Halsin does not return, Korga will give the order, and my voice will not matter. The bird knows. She needs to know. You do not. You, I fear. It is my brethren. More follow Korga every day. They are afraid, and she offers a simple solution. Eject the refugees, and we will be safe. Perhaps not. 
But that does not make it right. Only Master Hulsin can stop this. I pray my bird returns with news of him. If not, I fear for my people. This is madness, Korga. She's just a... A what, Wrath? A thief? A poison? A threat? I will imprison the devil. And I will cast out every stranger. She's a parasite. She eats our food, drinks our water, then steals our most holy idol in thanks. Wrath, lock her up. She remains here until the rite is complete. And keep still, devil. Tila is restless. Come, Koga. We took back the idol. Surely... Do it. Silence. I answer only to mistress. Halsin is gone. I am first druid now. I will take control and prove my authority. Fair words. Child, take to the others word of my grace. Sivasif, Tila, to me! <laughs> It hurts. Thank you, Korga. Master Halsin will- Halsin isn't here. Keep his name off your tongue, lest Tila pierce it. That woman has more venom in her heart than a snake in its fangs. But at least the child is safe. What is youth, if not a time to be forgiven for one's transgressions? Couldn't agree more. The girl wasn't innocent, but that doesn't mean she was guilty. I know that look. You're wondering why I was in pain before. Let's just clear the air about that now. It's... Just an old wound that hurts me from time to time. Nothing to be concerned about. It's nothing to do with the tadpoles, at least, in case your imagination is in danger of getting away from you. It's just something I have to live with. Positive. You can trust me on that. Quite a lot, if I'm being honest. But it always passes quickly, so I can manage. We've shown them once. We take Grove Law seriously. By letting that child escape without consequence. Mm. Might as well have lain on the ground and let them trample. You did well to speak up for the girl. That snake is fickle. A tragedy prevented. 
Well seen. Well spotted. We've let a snake replace our leader. She is first druid in Halcyn's absence. With him caught or dared by goblins, none may gainsay. But more will die if her ritual is finished. I doubt those exiled by the right will survive long outside. Would you? I would give anything to see Halcyn return home. Sylvanas's blessing upon you, and my gratitude as well. Halcyn is an elf with the presence of a bear. He left west with the adventurers. You won't mistake the first druid for anyone else. Come, Silver. Stay close. Something the matter. Curse to put my hands on everything. In our grove, on this day, a sign, or rather, a gift. Who better to understand a watchful broodmother than a beloved child of Loth? Indeed. But you do exhibit a talent for self-preservation. A viper bears her fangs defending her brood. Is it not her nature to strike at invaders? No matter. I took back the idol of Sylvanus, and the rite is resumed. We will seal the grove, free from harm, free of intruders. And mine perish if he stays. You showed great metal at the gate. The metal of a skilled sword for hire. I want you to provide your services to Sevlor. Offer to guide the Outlanders out of the grove. I'm sure they'll reward you well. They're to be gone before final prayer. If they are not, the Viper must strike. You will do more than speak. This tale ends but one way. With the Outlander rot cleansed, and the grove forever shrouded.
I can crack that open. She's never looked better. I'm impressed. Never knew a drow to be the caring kind. In fact, the last drow I saw tried to slit me open. Glad to see you're different. That's neither here nor there. Look, you obviously want something. What is it? I do what I can. For most folks, that's enough. Come here. Let's have a look at you. You seem healthy enough. A bit tired around the eyes, maybe. Crawled in? Some sort of bug? Or... Wait, did it look like a tadpole? But from your worst nightmare? All slime, teeth and tentacles? I... Uh, I'll do what I can. Come. Follow me. I might be able to help. We need to be quick. This way. No time to rest. Head on in. There's something in that vessel. Don't worry about him on the table. I'm not in the habit of killing Drow. He attacked Master Halson and I in the woods, leading a pack of goblins. Tadpole crawled out of his head soon after. Seems so. Gave Master Halson a right start. It's why he joined the adventurers on their expedition. To find out what was happening. A pity you got me instead of him. He understands these things. Studied them. Still, we have options. You don't have to be here for this. I'd like to stay, if it's all the same. All right. Let's see what we can do. She shifts uneasily. Hesitating. Something's off. It might. But first things first. Tell me about your symptoms. Have you noticed anything strange happening? I'm telling you everything you need to know. Believe me on that. I want to help you. But I can't unless you work with me. So, has anything unusual happened to you? Nothing? You sure? All right. I suppose that makes things easier. Give me your arm, please. There. Be careful. 
careful. Your legs will probably give out first. I'm sorry. Maybe Master Halson could have plucked it from your head, but I can't. Without him here, the only treatment for an illicit tadpole is death. You're a risk to the people around you. I'm truly, truly sorry. For what it's worth, the poison is painless. It'll be like going to sleep. Please, try to relax. This doesn't have to be hard. You can't have it. I can't risk you turning. You'd kill us all. I won't. I can't. God's above. It's a risk, but maybe you deserve a chance. <sighs> All right. Master Halson did say the drow's tadpole was dormant. Maybe yours is too. Now this is a vial of wyvern poison. It's quick and painless. Swear to me you'll swallow it if you feel any symptoms. I hope it doesn't come to that, but thank you. Here. And here's the antidote. Do not mix those two up. I spent my life treating folk and never once saw a mind flare infection. Then suddenly there's dozens of you, maybe more. Master Halson and I were tracking them, studying them, trying to figure out what the hell was going on. Because you should all be changing. There should be a small army of mind flayers out there. But you're not. Weird powers aside, you seem perfectly normal. 